Okay. So let's do this. Let's um, let's just start with the opt-in. We'll start with the opt-in. We're going to go opt-in. We're going to go thank you page. We're going to go call confirm page. And then um, and then we'll do the email one if if we need to add the pixel. But just do this. Grab grab the opt-in, hit the three dots, and just get the get the coder link. Is it this one? Is this the, the opt-in? Opt okay. No, right below the opt-in. The oh, seller okay. guide op opt-in. Oh, yeah. yeah. So hit the three dots mm -hmm. and then just get the code and let's get the link. Let's just grab the link and let's open it up, get the page link, and we'll just open it up at the top. Okay, so so this is what's super important. This is what's mm -hmm. super important. Hit the drop down of the pencil to the right, and let's um, hit the drop down to the left now. The David Blair dot Kartra. Hit that drop down, and let's go with your domain right there. So what we got to do is we got to make sure that your domain is linked to all pages. So so this would be the new the new domain. Do lowercase d. Everything is is lowercase in a, in a URL, but um, is that what you want it to be? Top rank agents .net forward slash download now. Um, you can, it's totally up to you. But yeah. but is, yeah, the domain, we need to be using the domain for sure, whether it's this one or a different one, but this this is the one we'll use this one. And then okay. just whatever, whatever you want at the forward slash, you you can do that now. Okay, got it. Um, so just save that. Yeah, save that. Got it. And then um, go ahead and copy that link and open it up in a new tab and just let it sit there for a little bit. We're, we're gonna come back to it. So just copy that link. Yeah, copy that, that URL, and then just um, open it up in a new tab. Okay, so let's let's see if we actually um, installed the pixel. Yeah, we, we actually did. So click on your pixel helper right there in the top right. You have your, um, that pixel helper, that blue one. Click on to the left, the blue one with the number two. Click on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So there's your pixel. So that's why okay. that pixel helper is so important because it, mm -hmm. it shows you, you know, you could test your pages and, and just really double check, triple check that your pixel is installed correctly. Okay. So that's, that's good. We're good to go there. Perfect. So now let's just, let's just, we might as well just check the other pages as well because we need to open them up anyways. So let's go back mm -hmm. to Kartra. We're going to do the same thing. Open up, close this, click the three dots, change out the link. We're going to do the same thing for the thank you. The same thing for the call confirmed. Um, yeah, we can do the email too, might as well. So get the page link and then just, um, yeah, see, so so that tip too, what I would do is I would simply, whatever the page pertains to, whatever the video pertains to, whatever the title on that page is, that's what mm -hmm. I normally put right there. I wouldn't just put tip two, I'd probably, or you could, I mean, shit, you, you totally could. Um, what page? I'm trying to remember what page that was now. What this, was that, what is the, was that? this is this is only this is close this out real quick. You could you could just save it later. Yeah, close. Um, that seller guide email. Okay. That's part of your email sequence. Okay. So if if you want to go up and beyond, which mm -hmm. I highly highly suggest you do, you you won't be able to do it right now. Like you'll this is just all you know building up to it. But as you build up to it, as we as we get this thing going, I highly recommend doing those seller guide emails and in that one page is where where you know a simple video of you would be so you're doing you're doing whatever that tip to that's what you're explaining in the damn video okay so so if i are you man i would really this right here bro i'm telling you this is your freaking this is this is this is your 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 mother of all this is freaking the blueprint this is uh -huh. your golden goose right here if you can focus on this opt-in Thank you mm -hmm. page, call confirm page, and then the seller guide email. But making that seller guide email, you would clone it, mm -hmm. and you would do it. I, I'd put I'd put twenty five of those bad boys together if I were you. Now, obviously, that's super time consuming, but you'll build up to it. Okay. But but for for e for someone to come and download your seller guide and then get a handful of emails that follow, and in each email there's a video of Dave giving that tip. Okay. That's just okay. different, man. That's that's completely customer service at its finest that's david that's like ain't no one doing that you know you, i'll get emails like i i hack all kinds of agents man i'm hacking agents all damn day i see an ad in the news feed from a, from a real estate agent i click on it i freaking i opt in i hack it i'm just hacking them seeing what the hell they're emailing their client or their prospect i should say everyone emails me boring texts there's nothing hey, one, exciting one, about no one's emailing. One, one just one second i'm sorry all I was saying was that I, every email is text-based. So if you can just, if you can separate yourself and, and put a video out, 
on each text like that that'd be that'd be so that'd be amazing but again you'll you'll build up to that but in that case with the seller guide email all you'll have to do is clone it and then you'll have number two and then clone it again there's number three clone it again so you could just keep duplicating that one page by cloning it and and that's it man this one funnel could could you can crush it so let's just go ahead and um grab the link get the coder link either that one or or do the other one that thank you and the call confirmed but yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be tip one. Actually, this will be your first, the first email, not the very, very first, the very first is the seller guide, but the second one. So the very first email that a person gets the moment they opt in is just a simple text-based email. Hey, thank you so much for downloading your seller guide. You can click here to download now, you know, make sure you're checking for my future email. Cause I have a ton of content regarding selling coming your way. And then boom, maybe a day later, email number two goes out, which is this one. So email number two is, is, is the first email that where someone's clicking on it to watch your video where you're maybe just given a, a, a quick 30, it could be a 30 second video, man, where you're, you're talking about what was on page two, you know what I mean? And yeah. so that person clicks and they come here and watch a quick video of, of, of Dave, you know, explaining tip two. Okay. So, so there's the pixel. We're good with this. Um, again, though, what we're, we're, we're about to go and create custom audiences. So here's what I would do for you. This, this would be the first email. This one right here, or not the, well, the second email, technically the, 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 the first one with the video, but the second one. Change that link out right now. Let, what, what, what do you, what do you, go back to Kartra? Yeah, let's just, let's, let's change out that link real quick. So hit mm -hmm. the, yeah, hit the pencil. Let's not name it tip two. Let's name it, if anything, tip one, because this is going to be the first, the first email. Um, so, based on your seller guide, based on, you know, what's, what, what maybe, maybe based on what, what, what's on the first page or the second page, you know, you can name it that, or you could just name it tip one. Okay. Yeah. Um, for if there's a handful of tips, if, if right. that seller guide is based around quote unquote tips, like for example, mm -hmm. seven tips to increase the value of your home before selling. Like that's, that's, I'm promoting quote unquote seven tips on, right. Mm -hmm. So in that case, if, if it was that type of a headline or title, then I can maybe go with tip one, tip two, tip three, and, and the consumer, it make it makes sense. But if it's not a tip guide, yeah, you're giving tips for sure. But if it's not mm -hmm. named tip, you know, your seven tips or whatever, then, mm -hmm. then I might be a little confused on this part, but but it's up to you. It's totally up to you. Okay. So leave it leave it tip one. Is it a tip guide? Is it are you going breaking down tips or what are you doing? Um, yeah, well, I mean it's a sell it's a one's for the seller guide so um yeah i mean we could do um i mean I've, i still haven't you know i have to figure out what video to 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 create to to tie in with that and that's why i was going to get kind of your advice of what's you know what information do I, I need to put on there or what you've you know what you've seen other other clients do i guess with, with simple, real, super simple bro super simple just look at your seller guide and break it down by the paragraph or break it down by the page and that's what okay. I would base my emails around. Okay. So, okay. so, so what, 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 like, yeah, like what, what's on page one, what's on page two, mm -hmm. like okay. that, that tip, maybe that might be tip one on page two. Finally, we get to tip one and it's on page two. Hey guys, this is Dave. Hey, thank you so much for opening my email today. What I wanted to go over was tip number one. You can find that on page two of my seller guide on page two. Right. Here's what I was referring to. Let okay. me kind of tell you a little bit more about this little tip and, and why it's so important when, before selling your house. Right. Okay. And now, and, and I'm referring to that in the 30 second video, it's on page two. Yeah. Right. Here's tip one on page two. So I'm kind of like just guiding them through the damn seller guide in my mm -hmm. emails. Yeah. You know, and then, and, and but, but then the first one touch. is just basically the, the first one is basically just the, the introduction of, you know, thank you for downloading my seller guide pretty much. Yes. And that, and that, and this page is not tied to that first email. That's the first email. This right. page is okay. tied to the second email which mm -hmm. now we're shooting for the appointment because that's what's on this page. Watch, go back, click on the tab, the tab at the top. One. So when you click on schedule your, it's a schedule it's just to the right. Okay. Yeah, that one. So this right here, it's all about that quick video given, given that person that first tip. And then, and then at the end of that video, hey guys, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call, right? So now, now at the end of that 30 second video, there's a call to action to click my yellow button. Mm-hmm. So that's just what I would do. Now, again, you don't have to do all this part, but again, this, this would separate you. I don't see no one bringing value via video, man, in an email sequence. I hack a lot of agents and no one's doing that. 
So okay. that's just something to consider and something to kind of plant, you know, for later okay. on. But um, like, for example, this right here, customizing your marketing plan. So that's what I would have put my link. That's just me. I, I would have put toprankagents.com forward slash customizing your marketing plan. Got it. Right. Rather than just maybe tip one. Something like that. Like you'll, you'll, you'll figure it out. But only reason why I'm, playing, I'm spending time on this yeah. is because once we customize this link, we then are going to now take it to Facebook and, and, and integrate it with Facebook and create our audiences around that specific link. So if you okay. end up, you know, seven days later changing it, it's no mm -hmm. big deal. We just got to go back into Facebook sure. and change it over there as well. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so cu customizing your marketing plan, does that, does that, um, um, does that freaking, um, what's the damn word I'm looking for? Does that, does that go with what the hell is in the beginning of your page? Yeah. One or, yeah. Is well, it customizing your marketing plan? Yeah. That's what you're saying. No, but is that, is that the link? Is that the name? Is that the title? Is that what's in your seller guide? Is that tip one, for um, example? The seller guide is, hold on one second. So what I normally do as far as customizing the, the thank you page link is I'll put, mm -hmm. depending on what the call to action is, that's what I kind of put on this one. So for example, the whole call to action on this thank you page is to schedule the call. Mm -hmm. So I would put something like schedule your call now, Okay. you know, rather than just simply thank you. Right. Thank you for downloading. That's what a lot of people would do. Thank you for downloading. It's like, no, dude, like, let's get more specific call to action, schedule your call now, you know, okay. so that's what they see right away. So perfect. So let's, let's open up that and then let's just double check our pixels and we should be, we should be good. So now what we'll do is we'll just create a custom audience around all of these links. Okay, so. Okay, so we'll double check. And that's what you'll always wanna do. So let's, 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 let me make this part clear just for the record and just for your, your, your information. Whenever you, whenever you save a, like whenever you do anything to a page, like whether, whether we came in here for the first time and changed the yellow to a green, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we exit out. Or in this case, we're grabbing the link. You always want to make sure you open up in a new tab. Like always let Facebook read that page for the first time. Okay. Right. Not to just check our pixel, but but to also so Facebook can read it for the first time. Uh, That's super, super important. So so the pages we should have up is the opt-in page. Let's just go. What's what's that? What's that um tab that you have where it says my and the little planet? Is that That's your, the guy. Okay, yeah, cool. the guy. Okay. We can close out that one. We don't need that one right now. So we'll close out that one. So we should just have our opt-in. There's our email. And then we mm -hmm. got, um, there's the email. Let's close out one of the emails. Yeah, we only had, should have four. four page. Okay, so these are, yeah, close out that one. Just exit out. Okay, cool. So we should just have these four pages. So your opt-in, the, um, yeah, this is, this is the opt-in. And then you have your email one. And then you have your call confirm page. And then you have your, um, your thank you page. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So now let's go into, um, let's see, re refresh this page real quick. Yeah. You got a bunch of characters that are go back to Karcher. Let me look at the three dots real quick. Let me just make sure that pound seven S eight. Actually it's this page right here, right? Schedule your call now. This one? Yeah. So we're good. We're good. So yeah, okay. those, your IP is just picking up those other characters. That's okay. fine but that's not the link. Okay, cool. So the now let's go to, now we're going to add these links. So let's go to the ads manager. Um, and then all we're going to do is go to audiences. So let's click on the dots to the left. Let's always make sure we're in the right account. First of all, we're in the David Blair one. So we'll go to um, the other North. Perfect. There's North Florida. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now we'll hit the dots to the left and we'll go to audiences. Okay. okay, cool. Okay, so this is this is where the money's at, man. This is I, I can't stress this enough. This is where everyone drops the ball. Yeah. 
-hmm. most will run an ad hit, see if you can minimize this top part right here that drop down in the top right not the one with your name but the one below that yeah right this there. One? yep so so these audiences man this is what it's all about is retargeting these audiences so we did mm -hmm. the videos now what we have to do is the pages so we have to mm -hmm. start tracking allowing facebook to start putting all these people that are landing on these specific pages in a bucket mm -hmm. aka a custom audience um what you'll do with that custom audience in the future on every ad from this point on is you'll either be retargeting them mm -hmm. because these are people who landed on your opt-in page but haven't opted in that's an audience that i would always want to retarget if people are seeing my ad clicking on it going to my landing page but for whatever reason they didn't opt in that's someone that i want to get back in front of right they were almost there they, they almost mm -hmm. crossed the finish line they just didn't quite cross it so let me get back in front of them maybe my next ad would may, maybe resonate a little bit more right because for someone to get that far there was an interest they clicked you got them that far right so now we'll start segment, segmenting these people to either retarget in the future with future ads or exclude people groups audiences from future ads so for example let's start with that one let's start with the thank you page Anyone who lands on that thank you page, go to the to the tab at the top of your schedule, your call now page or thank you page. Mm -hmm. Anyone who lands on this page is a lead. Anyone who mm -hmm. lands on this page and is and is now in this custom audience needs to be excluded from future ads. So as you go and set up new ads, this mm -hmm. audience will always exclude because okay. these are already leads they don't need to keep seeing your seller guide video to get people to click learn more right they already, they already right. click learn more so so we'll exclude them from from future ads so let's copy that link you're going to copy double click the link at the very very top just double click it open the whole thing up double click it click it again actually just double click see if you can click twice there you go now the whole thing opened up https ww so now all you need you don't need all that you don't you actually don't even need all that you just need toprankagents.net forward slash schedule your call now so just copy all of that toprankagents.net forward slash schedule your call now no you don't need all those letters at the end yeah right there perfect that's the link so copy that and what we're going to do over here in in, in the ads manager we're going to click the blue button to the left, create audience. And we're going to go to custom audience. And so the only custom audiences that we'll ever, ever, ever need to focus on is, is website, which is what these are. And then mm -hmm. also video customer lists could be super, super powerful as well. Um, but those are really the only three website, video, customer list. I have I have some clients where they have they have you know good relationships with title companies and and escrow officers and I have some some agents where they're so good and they're so good with you know they're so in with that title company for example where the title company gives them list and 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 I have some clients that will get a, a list of of people who have purchased a home in the past five years. And they'll get that list, right? And then they'll take that list and in customer list, they'll simply upload it to Facebook and create a custom audience. And then, and then from that audience, and I'm going into way more details with you right now, but I want to kind of plant the seed because this is this is big. From that custom audience of of previous home buyers, they can turn around and create what Facebook calls a lookalike audience. And now yeah. Facebook will mirror that audience and go find you a million more people that resemble them. Okay. So that that's just that's just like more ninja stuff, which I'll teach you later on. But mm -hmm. websites, what we'll focus on right now. So click on next. And so we have the thank you page link copied. So now we're going to paste it in over here. All we're going to do is we're going to always make sure that that's the right source. That source with the green dot, that's your pixel. So mm -hmm. North Florida Realtor, that's your pixel. So okay. in the events, the all website visitor, all you're going to do is mm -hmm. hit the drop down and you're looking for specific. You'll always want to do this on custom audiences. It's always hitting specific. So people who visited specific web pages, that's the one you're going with. And then the contains, you can go ahead and paste in 
that link. And in this case, the yeah, paste it in the link. And you'll always hit the drop down. So once you see it in blue, hit that blue, hit that drop down, hit the blue. Oh, I had a dot here in front of it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Hit the yeah. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now, the retention change that thirty to one eighty. One eighty is is max, and Facebook will just start tracking anyone who has landed on that page, um, mm -hmm. in the past one hundred and eighty days. Okay. Okay. So now scroll down, and we're gonna give it a name. So this audience, we're going to name. And you can you you can name it whatever you want, but it's you know it's it's leads. So maybe seller guide leads. Mm -hmm. You can you can name it seller guide leads. And so now this will become an audience that nine out of ten times you'll exclude. So go ahead and create audience. Perfect. So now on the flip side, hit done. I'm saying nine nine out of ten times you'll you'll exclude that audience because. Every ad you're promoting your seller guide. That's kind of the campaign we're about to embark on is promoting the seller guide, doing videos, doing ads, image ads, whatever you want to do, image, video, whatever, but, mm -hmm. but staying consistent and doing it weekly, right? Talking about one topic and getting people to click, learn more, to download my seller guide. So nine out, of, nine out of 10 times, that's what we're doing. That's the strategy. So therefore, I would always want to exclude that audience. But the one out of 10, I could be even more narrow and specific and target them. So what if, what if, what if these are leads that, that I haven't got under contract or I haven't, you know, closed. Yeah. haven't done business with yet, but they're just leads. I can then turn around and run an ad just to them. Hey guys, this is David Blair. Hey, I know you opted in a few months ago to download my seller guide, 2021, seven tips on increasing the value. I just wanted to come up here and, and give you a quick message on, on what the market is doing today and, and, and how fast, you know, houses are selling, right? I can always run an ad directly to them and, and show up in people's newsfeed. So that's always an option as well. But the reason why it'd be excluded more, more than, more than, more than included. So the reason why nine out of 10 times, I'll just exclude them is because a message like that, I can just email it to them. Huh? Like, like even if I did make a video, they're already leads. They're already in my CRM. Like I can just email them that video. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying like some days where, where you you know have the budget or some months when you have the budget, why not just show up in their newsfeed as well? Right. You, know I mean? okay. so you can go both ways. So that's seller guide leads. Let's hit the button to the left, create audience, and then let's do it again. Okay. So here, custom audience, mm -hmm. and now let's do the um, website, and we're gonna go next, and then let's mm -hmm. go. Um, this is gonna be. Let's change. Let's let's go. Always the events. Always all website visitors. Always hit that drop down. Go to specific, and then this is this is going to be called confirmed. So let's change that thirty to one eighty. One eighty. And then go ahead and um, go to the call confirm page and copy that link. Everything except for the www. Yeah, so let's get this call confirmed. Let's copy the top rank agents. Okay, perfect. So we're going to grab that, copy. And then um, same thing applies to, to this one. These are, these are people who have landed on the page. These are people who have scheduled a call with you already. Mm -hmm. So again, they're already a lead. These are, these are they, they could be people who, who downloaded a seller guide. But then again, if I were you, I'd be using my, my calendar for everything. Like I'd be using this Kartra calendar for every appointment. That's just me. So, so in this case, it's not going to be just seller guide leads who, who hit this page. Eventually other people will be hitting this page. So again, the way I look at this audience is they don't need to really, they don't need to see my ads either. Cause if they're already a lead, then I'll just email them the video, right? I don't need to show up in their newsfeed, mm -hmm. but then again, again, based on a budget, you could hit them in the newsfeed as well. So mm -hmm. let's scroll down and let's just put um, appointments. Or, mm -hmm. or, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what, what it is. And these are appointments, anyone who's ever mm -hmm. scheduled an appointment. Okay, create audience. And there goes that audience. Hit done. And then there goes that audience. 
Okay. Now let's create the um, opt-in page. Grab the opt-in page link. Now that's going to be an audience. Um, Is it this one? Or? No, to the very left. I think it's, yeah, the landing page, the opt-in. So that one. Yeah. Okay. So let's grab everything except for the question mark. Yeah, you don't need the question mark or any of that at the end. So just download now. Okay. Now this will be an audience that you'll always want to retarget. Mm -hmm. There are people who have landed here but didn't smash the yellow button for whatever mm -hmm. reason. Um, but if you land on my page, you're going to get hit with another ad. So custom audience, website, and then and then same thing with this um, next. And, and let me explain this part as well as far as the retention, the 30 days. It's pretty self-explanatory, but, but just to get into more detail with it, Facebook just tracks that 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 day, so thirty days. So depending on 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 how urgent, like for example, I could have, let's say, let's say, let's say I was I was creating an audience around uh, around a web page, around a landing page, an opt in page of an open house, mm -hmm. and that open house is this weekend. Let's say it's Monday, and we're gonna start this ad off. And today, and we're going to let it run all week because this weekend, next Saturday and Sunday, we have an open house. So if I start running ads today, Monday, and I'm going to run it the whole week, that retention, I may only want, I may only want it to be seven days, maybe, maybe, maybe 10 days, the max. Yeah. So now as I run ads this entire week, Facebook is just going to capture this week. This week, anyone within that that day period, because that open house is this weekend, and obviously the house may sell quick. Mm -hmm. So I don't need that. I don't need an audience of 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 more than you know seven days, ten days. And so, and and one eighty is the max. So in this mm -hmm. case, uh, hit the all website visitors go to specific. This one's for the landing page. So again, same same kind of thing applies. Where it's like if I turn that to one eighty. And I, and I have Facebook capture an audience of 180 days. So from this point on, from today, from this day on, the 4th, four, 4th, four, 6th, from this day on, 180 days. Like, if I run an ad in, on, 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 on day 182, and I'm targeting people who have landed on my page 174 days ago, mm -hmm. those people may not even remember me. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? So. Yeah, I got you. So it's like, I may just put this 30. I may just put this 30. Any, if mm -hmm. you've landed on my page within a 30 day period, then, mm -hmm. then, then, then I'll get back in front of you. Okay. Right. So, so that's how you'll kind of look at it. And then now here's what we'll do now. This is going to be our first exclude. So what we're going to do is we're going to exclude people. This is very specific, very, very specific. When we start segmenting audiences, mm -hmm. very specific. So we're telling Facebook right here, we're creating an audience of everyone who lands on the opt-in page, uh -huh. but does not land on the thank you page. Uh -huh. So now hit the events, all website visitors. You're going to always go to specific. So always, always hit specific. Uh -huh. And then, and then whatever your, whatever retention, whatever days you're, you're going at the top, you can go, uh -huh. you can go, actually, you know what you, here's the deal. You could change that to 180, change this 30 to 180. Cause what we're doing on the top is we're telling Facebook, okay, here's the opt-in page. We're going 30. Anyone who has landed on this opt-in page in the last 30 days, put them in this mm -hmm. audience. But if an individual has landed on my thank you page in the past 180, don't include them in this audience. Okay. So now go to your thank you page. We're going to grab our thank you page and we're going to grab our call confirm page. Because if you haven't opted in, or if you've never scheduled a call with me, you're in this audience. So, which one so, do we go to? <clears throat> not tip two, right? Did we did we change that? Let's download. This is. This is yeah. Change out. Yeah, X out this one. X out this tab. Yeah, get rid of that one. Okay, so so call confirm. Go ahead and copy that. Call confirm. This is fine. Call confirmed. We'll get this one and then we'll get the thank you page one. So let's do this one first. Copy and then just add it over there. To, to right this there. one underneath right here? Yep, yep, right there. 
Okay, and then that's the call. And then we're gonna also hit, yeah, hit the drop down the blue, and then also go and get your thank you plate, your thank you page one, your schedule your call now one to the very very right. I think it's up there. Okay. Schedule right. your. Yeah, get. Oh, it's already up here. Yeah, yeah. So okay. copy that. There you go. Copy that one. And then that goes where? Right there next to that one. Right there. On this okay. okay. Yep. So now we're capturing an audience of those who landed on our opt-in page, but never landed on those two. Very specific. Wait, there's a, hold on. There's a, Actually, there's that dot. Yeah. Um, you have to just probably copy it again, or you could take it out from there. Take it out from there. There's a cursor right there. Okay. So just, okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now yeah. scroll down and give it an audience name. These are these are um, seller seller guide website visitors. Seller guide website visitors. And then we're gonna put in parentheses mm -hmm. only. So seller guide website visitors, and then in parentheses put only. Perfect. Very, very specific. Okay, cool. So create audience. Those are your audiences, man. Hit done. Those are your basic audiences. And then we can do, we don't really need one around the email one. We don't really need one because mm -hmm. these are the, the main audiences. If you're, if you're, um, uh, let me see if we, yeah, if you're, if you're getting an, if you're getting, if you're in my email series and, and you're getting, you're getting my emails and I have that page. Watch, go to Kartra. If I have this email page and you're 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 getting that email page, that seller guide email, I don't need you in a custom custom audience with a seller guide email because you're you're mm -hmm. already getting my emails. So I'm not I'm not retargeting you. I'm only retargeting the opt-in page visitors only. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, I'm, and then I'm excluding my thank you and call confirmed. So, so moving forward, the only audiences that you'll ever really retarget are those who are watching your videos and those who are landing on the opt-in, but not opting in. Okay. That's it. So, so now, now that, now the custom audiences are set up, the only mm -hmm. other thing that we need to do before we run an ad is set up a custom conversion, which we can do that. We can do that on our next call. We'll set up the custom okay. conversion and run a full blown ad. Cool. So right, I'm um, gonna create. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I think I, I, I got on your schedule for, two, for tomorrow. I think around the same time. Okay, um, perfect. But I'll go ahead and create the. Uh, I'll go ahead and create a couple of videos tonight so that we can attach those to it. Hopefully, and be able to maybe get the first one out there. Yes. So then, what we also need to do is is the email. Click on my communications. We'll do that on our, on our next call as well. But my communications. Oh, okay. Got it. This um. I don't think your email series is set up. Hover over communications and click on sequences. Okay. Over here or no? no? Yes. So you should, um, yeah, you got you got some kind of bug in your system, bro. Yeah. Sequences, okay. Sequences, yes. Okay, so this sequence right here, this is what we have to, we have to, we have to, we have to knock this part out too, because I don't think you've edited any of these emails. Okay. So this is, yeah, go ahead and click on edit. 